And well, once again, we've got the medical staff checking out the fighters. Kowalski. So it's a, so it's not Dan no, no, Mont Stevens. This one round. Undisputed from Wrexham, Kowalski. So this is Daniel Pritchard from Max Jim. So boxing, boxing so, match. So we've got a boxing match on our hands. I don't know if I've ever seen uh, Daniel Pritchard fight. I'm trying to think. I, I haven't. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him fight yet. And uh, Kowalski, what about what about this guy I'm not from undisputed sure Wrexham? I've heard. I, I, know, I know of the gym, the undisputed gym in Wrexham. Uh, good gym again. Good gym. The fighter, I'm not too familiar with. But I know his, um, his counterpart, Carol, um, he's a Polish. They've got a massive following with the Polish. Oh, is he Polish? Yeah. He's just got a massive following. Big, uh, big unit, lads. I do, I do remember they this guy. They sing, they chant, they clap yeah. their hands. It's, did, it's the real deal. Did he not fight at, um, at Venue Cymru? Yeah. Yes. And they were all in the back. Yeah, the yeah, back, yeah, and, yeah, I was, yeah. and I think I was saying to whoever I was uh, doing the commentary with, I wish I knew what, what they I were was, saying. I was repping. You were, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, I wonder what they're saying. Yeah. Then I realized they were just chanting his name. Yeah, chanting, <laughs> clapping, twitchy bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be representing Max Jim. Here we go. Daniel Perichon! 100 kilograms these lads. I'm 100 kilograms myself, but not that shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the guy he's got in the corner also fought in venue come right. That's he, he's the main one. Ka um, Carol. Crack cough or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Carol something. He's a very solid fighter, really good boxer as well. Yeah. I've got no doubts that your, your man Camillis as well. It doesn't look like he's here to um, have a little roll around anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. Swearing, but he looks intimidating just yeah, standing there. Yeah. I'd be like that. Am I actually getting in the ring with that yeah. guy? <laughs> I'd have to try and chop him down with kicks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Always bring a gun. <laughs> Just to make sure. We'd have to bring something. Oh, good God. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the final fight of the first half of the show will be a heavyweight boxing match to be fought over three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue court, he proudly represents Undisputed, Camille Kowalski! Yeah. And introducing his opponent in the red. The guy that's in the crowd proudly representing Max Jim. Daniel. Well, this is the heaviest fight, heaviest fight of the night. It's like two bulls. This is it. I'd be very me. surprised if last, this lasts the distance either way. Camille looks like he's going to come in. Hey, he looks like he's ready just yeah. to storm the place yeah. and knock everything over. <laughs> but that's not to take away anything that we don't know what the uh, fighter from Rack, uh, Ryan no, Max Jim not. is definitely like. Not. You know? And obviously Ryan's not going to put him in there if he didn't think he could handle him. No, no definitely not. So. Right, like you say, Ryan's a professional when it comes to uh, matching as well. Nearly says mismatching then. Yeah. No, matching. Yeah. And uh, he, he knows what he's doing as well. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, Ryan's put on his own shows as well, so you're right, he, he knows his stuff. And I think it, we're just waiting for the for some tape around the gloves, stop the laces opening in mid-match. I'm surprised we've not had any chanting from the uh, Camille's guys yet. Well, we may have that. <laughs> Oh, and it's it's right on. Here we go. Well, they call him the pit bull. Oh. 
that's a hook. That was a nice hook. Yeah, he's having that as a knockdown. He's having that. Kowalski is cheated up. He's, he's, he is cheated up, but you know, look, you know, both lads are big lads. They are, I yeah. Knocked out for one second, that then punches. Just need maybe hold like like Ryan's saying, hold on. Maybe let Camille weird we himself out a little bit. He might weird himself out. He could well again, do. He might be fit. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. That all depend on just how good Kowalski's shape is, his stamina. At the end of the day, this is going to be about heart. This. See, it's starting to slow down a little bit now. Kowalski's not coming out so so fast and hard. Uh, he, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's slowed down a bit now. now. This is what Daniel might have been waiting for, you know? Just for this opportunity. Yeah. Let the big guy gas himself out and then start picking his game apart bit by yeah. bit. Very nice. That was a good shot. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine. yeah from Daniel. But Daniel's got the skill set. It's just a matter of placing it right. He's got his guard up. Uh, it kind of looks like Kowalski's giving him a beating, but actually he's got his hands oh, up yeah, and he's protecting I, I, himself. Yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of just hitting, it's a lot of hitting inside the clinch. You know, it's not much damage there. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I think it's starting to slow down a bit now. Which in my eyes is a lot better because it gets a lot more tent. Camille himself, now he's he's taking his breath, he's taking a deep breath, deep breath, and then he's going in. I think he's looking for one punch. Daniel, I think, obviously this round, I think he might pick it up a little bit. Well, he needs to pick it up a little bit, you know. Sticking to your game plan, you know, I mean, your man in one corner is kind of swinging a little bit wild. Yeah. Your man over in Ryan's corner, right, has got a nice good jab, yeah. you know, working on that because if it goes to distance, it's going to go to points, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And every shot's going to count as far as the judges are concerned. So you can see Camille's taking deep breaths here now. If I, if I was Daniel, I'd be jabbing for distance, be dab, jabbing at distance, jab, 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 and keep moving around, move back, move around and then maybe pick a shot. Okay, that's it now, just a bit of movement. See, one big punch, that's... It, you know, I was just having a look when... Um, when Kowalski was coming in and he was swinging, uh, I think he was throwing the right, and the opportunity for for uh, Daniel to use his left on him, but instead he threw a right. Yeah, you can see, you can see Kamel now, he's biding his time, he's taking his breath and he's loading up, but he's also walking backwards. I think he's trying to get Daniel to come in and then he's going to right. unload one. You right. can see, you watch it, you, you, you can see it. Just a, just a simple jab, use the range of a jab, that's all Daniel needs to do, and he can, he can win a fight on a jab, and yeah. the same with Kamel as well. Yeah. No taking sides, just it can be <coughs> won with a jab in this fight. Pardon me, yeah. And if the, no if the knockout comes with the big heavy hands that they both got, then it'll come. See, yeah, yeah, nice there's, sharp jab. There's that jab coming out. No point, no point in trying for the knockout. Hands need to go up a bit higher for Daniel. Yeah. Camille's hands are up. Oh, right overhand, right. Jab, that's that jab getting in there again. That's See, what Daniel needs to keep going. This is the problem with the, the bigger weights. If they, they go too soon. Yeah. But don't doubt for one second if one of them punches are connecting. And I guess that's what everybody's hoping for when they come out it's like steamrollers. Big guys, big knockouts. That's what people think. Very rarely you get heavy people now that go out there with technical, technical and, and, and pick their shot. But that's the excitement of the fight. That's the excitement of the fight. No taking away from no one. No, no. Well done. Very good round from Daniel there. Very good round from Daniel. Again, I'd say it was me. Go out there, pick the pace up a little bit. Jab, jab, jab. And Camille maybe needs to start coming forward a little bit more. I don't know. Rather than loading up with that big, big left hand. Yeah. Because you, you, you can leave yourself wide open as well. Yeah, and like you said, both of these these guys are big punchers. Of course. So, I mean, if you get caught with that, 
you you're going you're, you could go down. Oh yeah, yeah. So definitely, you definitely go down. Yeah, definitely so, go down. So put you, keep your hands up, right? Work that jab a little bit more, just to both of the guys. And what are we in the we're in the last round now? Last round now, yeah. Just a jab, just jab with this. Push him off. Get the jab going. Jab, 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 jab. Oh. So throw the jab first and then go with the overhands. You know, you've got to bring his hands down. You've got to bring them hands down. Because otherwise, like it just happened, you're just hitting his glove. You need to be setting it up. Maybe possibly jabs to the belly, jabs to the belly, overhand right, maybe right, overhand left. There's different ways to set it up. It's there, it will happen. You've just got to set it up. I think Camille now, I think he's, I think he's gassed a little bit. Yeah, his mouth is wide open. Yeah, he's, he's uh, I don't, Ooh, I don't, he I don't almost think, walked right on to that. I don't think Camille's the type of person you're going to put down with a body shot, put it that way. Yeah. Needs to be working low up to the top, working low up to the top. We've got 50 seconds left of this fight. This is going to come down to points. Yeah, 20, almost 20 seconds, 24 seconds left. You're going to do something, now is the time. Oh, they're both gassing. You can see the referee, the ties. The ties like to keep it busy. <laughs> you, you can never be tired in the ring with a tie referee. They like, they, they badger you and badger you and badger you. They know what the crowd likes. They're all about the entertainment. I think this bell's going to go very shortly. It's a very good fight. Yeah. I think Daniel, for me personally, Daniel's just done enough. Just picked it, split decision with these. Two big lads going at it there, you know. And obviously... Hey. I don't know, I was being asked how did we score that, and I was like, no, half and half, because we're not the judges. Yeah, that's it, 50-50. <laughs> don't get mad at me, Osh, if it goes a different <laughs> way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have reached a majority decision. Majority decision. They have declared that this match is a draw. Oh, so wow. Please show your it's a fair enough decision. Fair enough decision. Yeah. Kowalski and Daniel. I think if they watch that back, possibly Daniel might have picked it, but the judges, they made the decisions. I think me personally, Daniel would have picked that, but judges are in charge, really, when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. And, and a draw is better than a loss. Of course, you know. of course, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. Both fighters will walk away very happy with their performance with that. Yeah. So what made you think that Daniel might have just had that? The, the first round, obviously Camille was coming in. He was a lot busy, the aggressor. Second round, 